Hey folks, this is Sawmill and I welcome you all to my channel. First things first, I got my first subscription, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks to the person who subscribed, you motivate me to make more better content and I thank you for appreciating my videos. Now moving back to the third in video series of coffee and paper. Well, I didn't forgot my coffee, it's here. This paper is basically a follow-up on the last paper we discussed. It builds up on the skip gram model and shows us how could we work with phrases. Uh, the paper is by McClove and others at Google only and it was published in the same year, 2013, as an extension of their work. So, diving deep into the details of the paper, um, the paper is cited distributed representations of words and phrases and their compositionality. It's by McClove and others at uh, Google only and it was published in 2013. So the, we firstly go through, as I discussed, the objective of the paper is to build up on the script gram model uh, for training better quality uh, of vectors and, tra and the training speed. We want to be able to reduce training speed more and how do we do that is basically through two different methods. First is we subsample the frequent words like a uh, and the uh, and other the words and second is instead of using the hierarchical softmax which we discussed in the last paper, uh, we will be using something new called as negative sampling. Um, so skip gram model, what were the basic benefits that we actually saw in skip gram model? The benefits of skip gram model was that that we don't have to do the dense vector calculations that we saw in neural network models and the work done by Benju and others, uh, which is part of my first video. You could go and check that out for mathematical details of that. Uh, second is. Um, as mentioned above, uh, we saw that there can be a speed up of up to 2 to 10 times just by removing the uh, frequent words. Uh, third is uh, we use a variant of noise contrastive estimation or NCE. Um, we would see, uh, we call it negative sampling and we would see shortly how does that it look mathematically. Uh, also, a very important uh, thing that we would do this paper is we work towards uh, the phrase mod based model by combining words together and treating them as a single token. Um, so, skip gram model, if you remember, would some look somewhat like this, where we would take a center word and try to predict the context words. Uh, it's opposite. It's a complete opposite of continuous bags of words. Uh, let's go into the mathematical formulation a bit of skip gram models. So uh, we try to maximize the log probability and from this expression you can see we are, it's the probability of context word given the center word and we are trying to go over a huge text corpus T and through the each step of that we see through a context window or we could say a training window and then we go through them and for each of those we try to maximize this average log probability. Uh, if you remember we calculate since it's a probability we calculate a softmax in last and to take that softmax what we basically do is uh, we calculate the probability of context word given the center word is equal to exponential of inner uh, of dot product of uh, word vector of the context word vector and the uh, center word vector and um, basically this tells us the similarity between the two vectors but this whole formulation which you see basically gives us a probability which would sum up to one uh, so that's all the maths you basically use uh, uh, to take the math to the next level which we basically use is hierarchical softmax which is basically we use Hoffman binary tree to represent the words um, and we lay out uh, output layer with W words as its leaves and for each node explicitly represents the relative probability of its child nodes. Um, so basically the, the softmax functions changes which had the probability of word vector, uh, context word vector given the center word vector would now look some, something like this. Uh, sigma here denotes the sig, uh, sigmoid function. Uh, 
uh, and hence we could say the cost of computing actually reduced to log to the base 2 of the vocab size um, as compared to the softmax. Now we're gonna talk about uh, the next step to this is negative sampling. Now negative sampling um, is so basically NCE uh, tries to approximate the softmax and since we are dealing with skip ground model we are only concerned with learning our end goal and end objective is to learn high quality word vector representations and to train them quickly the two objectives now uh, as long as so so we are free to simplify NC as long as uh, we are able to get these two aims at which we have so if you see the term over here basically the first term is nothing but the inner product of uh, um, context vector with the center word and we are trying to maximize this log probability and if you see the second vector it's basically the over the k samples some expected value of um, uh, word vector context word vector with center word vector now um, uh, what we are trying to do is basically we want to re the sigmoid function basically has a very interesting point in sigmoid of minus x equals to 1 minus sigmoid of x which basically means we are trying to reduce probability of these words occurring together so we want this probability, probability of these words to occur together um, so um, how do we actually what's the difference between how what refinement we did basically over NCE the main difference between NCE and negative sampling is that uh, NCE needs both sample and the numerical probabilities of noise distribution but um, negative sampling just uses the samples so that's the modification we basically made. Uh, next is we're gonna talk about sub sampling of frequent words. So, so sub frequent words are the words like a and the other. So we don't want to deal with a co-occurrences of uh, words with the and a uh, as compared to some rare words. Um, so to counter this imbalance between rare and frequent words, uh, we subsample. Uh, we use the subsampling approach. So each word W in the training set is discarded with probability computed by the formula. So if you see the formula, it's actually the function of frequency of word inversely proportional to that, and it's uh, also a function of a threshold which we select based on that. Um, also, uh, just to come back to the, the negative sampling, the second term over here is kind of like hyperparameter and it varies from case to case. Generally, the values of k um, belongs to between 5 and 10, between what experiments I have done. Um, we would be going through shortly through one of those experiments, but not in part of this video. Uh, next is, um, let's discuss what results. So we see kind of some great analogical results uh, as it is, uh, as uh, work of this paper. Uh, if you see, uh, given the phrase Vasco di Gama, you could uh, almost with negative si with uh, negative sampling and uh, 10 to the power minus 5 threshold, you could see the results. And similarly, you can compare it with hierarchical sampling results. Uh, the second table which you see over here is basically taking two word vectors and combining them and then seeing the closest entities to those vectors and those are the four vectors and you can see how greatly these anal results are analogically related to each other um, so uh, reaching to the end of this summary uh, the conclusion that I we can draw is this paper actually shows us how to train distributed representations of words and phrases with skip gram model and demonstrate these representations exhibit linear structure so that we can analyze we can do precise analogical reasoning, I'm sorry. Uh, um, then word vectors can be somewhat meaningfully combined using simple vector addition, which we saw in uh, last uh, table where we combined word vectors and then found closed entities and were yet able to find out very powerful uh, analogical reasoning. 
uh, also we saw that um, we can combine two words to form a phrase and then use them to uh, use them to actually uh, form a phrase based model uh, combination of the above two approaches actually results in a very powerful yet a simple way to represent longer pieces of text while ha still maintaining the minimal computational complexity um, so guys that's all for that paper uh, what's coming up after this video is basically the two code show videos which I talked about in my last video also uh, where we would see the skip ground model and continuous bag of words model both in action uh, once again thanks for viewing my videos if you find it useful please like and subscribe also share your feedback if I can improve on some things thank you so much